Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Ness Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. And today I got some news for you. The hackers that took down the Colonial Pipeline, man, they got busted. A lot of the Bitcoin that they received in order to uh, give back the control to the pipeline uh, has been taken by the government, the FBI, the feds, they got it. Now, a lot of the people in the news are saying that uh, these wallets were hacked, these Bitcoin wallets were hacked. That is absolutely not the case. It is absolutely not the case. You cannot hack a Bitcoin wallet. Well, you can't like see it and like hack the planet with it, but like maybe, maybe if you've seen someone put their password in, if you, if you had a logger on the computer, you could hack it that way, but you're not hacking the wallet, you're hacking the person. That's more of a something else, more of like a man in the middle attack, something like that. You cannot hack Bitcoin wallets. You can't, it can't be done. All of the, uh, all of the media is saying it was hacked. It absolutely was not. Um, I've heard two different explanations of what went on. One, there was a middleman, and he, they were operating in an exchange, and the, the feds nailed that. Either way, the server that they had the money on was purchased from somewhere, and the feds took over the server. So they got most of the money. It sounds like there were two teams that were organized on the hacker side, the dark side. And this is where things are going to start getting dark for dark side so so every hacker is always super powerful in their own room in their own mirc chat room in their own group with their group think and with their echo chambers but the time to call the piper the time to pay the piper always comes along for these individuals and as soon as that starts happening these hackers turn into babies most of the people who are end bosses on the internet if a police officer shows up at their door or if you yourself show up at the door things change really quickly and no longer are they the end boss of the internet but they're a little whiny baby i've heard of so many hackers that got busted for giant things that just decided that they wanted to anti-hero instead of going on with the court proceedings. I remember one of the biggest stories about hacking ever was about some groups of people breaking into a university and one of the guys in the university man he ran around he got printers to try to figure out where everyone was from they couldn't he couldn't save information so he had to steal printers to print off information about these people coming in and people kept coming in he ended up uh making a huge file that would take so long for someone to download he named something like nukes or something like that so someone got on there someone was located and two other people were located from this one of them was in germany and uh, they talked a big game, but once they got busted, anti-hero, just like that. So remember, it's one thing I want everyone to know. The end boss of the internet is a lion on the internet, but a mouse, not even a mouse. Mice, mice can run at a certain part, at a certain point, you can no longer run. And the man's coming to town. The man is coming for dark side. Darkseid thought they knew what was going on. They already lost most of their Bitcoin. A lot of the other Bitcoin was given somewhere else. I've also heard that it was Coinbase. Man, you... Coinbase, there's no way that's true. There's no way that's true that the Fed sent Coinbase or that, uh, that uh, Colonial sent Coinbase this money. That absolutely would not have happened because the Feds could get it back like that. Anyways, um, it just, it just, it's amazing. It's freaking amazing that the Feds clamped down on this this hard got it this fast and they i'm confident that they will figure out who's going on here because everybody's taking this stuff seriously now it used to be back in the day that old people would watch these hacking things going on and they'd be and they'd be like well oh, we can't stop it there's nothing we can do if we're going to be hacked we're going to be hacked i'm pretty sure that uh, it was the main guy for cybersecurity in japan had never used the computer and that stuff uh, keeps happening, but the feds are gonna be cracking down on these guys. What are you gonna do when the man comes to town? What you gonna do, brother, when the feds get their, what is it, 32 inch pythons around you, brother, you. Anyways, I love, I love old school wrestling, but seriously, seriously, the man's gonna to come to town and these hackers, we're gonna see what they're really worth. Are they gonna run? Are they gonna anti-hero? Are they gonna work with the feds? Either way, the feds gotta get used to this being a thing. This is gonna happen again, but I have a feeling that dark side will not be on uh, the side of this stuff. So, so the key things here, colonial hackers named dark side got money. They lost the money. 
the feds are coming for them. And when the feds come for them, they're not as scary as they used to be. Just blows my mind. I just can't stand the way that people, uh, the way that news outlets are saying that their uh, that their bitcoins had been hacked, that the wallet had been hacked. Intrinsically, this isn't true. You can't hack a wallet. It's just too freaking hard. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Net from Nefsack. It's like subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. As always, folks, take care of each other. Don't be hacking each other. Don't be don't be uh, making people give you money in order to get their gas lines working stuff. Have a good one, folks.